Toy Reavers, I'm Daniel from Coralus, and this is week two with the Fido Tank. And so far what I can tell you is this thing's pretty easy to take care of, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, since you do have to harvest this every seven to ten days, or at least that's what they recommend, um, it does kind of keep you on a schedule, so that's kind of good for maintenance for me for other things. But you can see how nice thick green phytoplankton this is uh, for the original culture. Now I already did take 25% out of this, and I put 25% back in here, and then topped it off with fresh salt water. And like I said, the reason you use fresh salt water, not salt water from your tank, is because you don't want to bring in any contaminants that can possibly kill your culture and your phytoplankton. So clean water is important. You do not want anything from your tank that has free floating organisms in it that um, you don't know what could happen. So to keep your culture fresh and clean, stick with that water. Um, so another thing is to warn you guys and kind of tell you about, since I harvest this after 10 days instead of the seven that I did last time on Thursday, um, some water had evaporated. And I also spilled some water because it settled to the bottom when I held it up and looked at it. I saw all the uh, phytoplankton like starting dark green little, so I tried to shake it. And because it's a bag, it just didn't shake well and I ended up spilling something. So do not try to shake it. Um, you're better off taking off the lid and taking the turkey baster and going in there and, and squirting it around just to kind of help keep it moving and floating around so it doesn't settle on the bottom. So another thing like I said is the evaporation. You just want to check this out. So when you do your second batch for week two, you want to make sure that your water is salinity is correct. Now since I had some evap and I had some spillage, um, the salinity was actually a little high, so I added some fresh water with my um, salt water to balance out salinity again. So now the bag, you can see how it gets like this film on it. So that's one of the beauties that I love about this little system is the bag, since it has a light that wraps around the container, it's more efficient, but you don't have to clean it. You just take the bag out and then switch it with a new one. Also. They recommend switching these, and you can see how dirty they get. Because as it's bubbling and the bubbles are reaching the surface, some of the phytoplankton is sticking to the side of the tube and it's dying, and it can decay and create a little mess. So they recommend, as part of your routine maintenance, to rinse this out and to clean it. And that's what I did. So, so far our culture is going strong, but it is only week two. Um, and I am gonna feed the corals with this so I can show you guys how that's done. And so, let's go feed the corals. All right, I'm gonna feed these corals first. Um, I just made an extra quick concoction. I took a little Tupperware container, um, I think it's egg drop soup, a pint of it, one of those containers. And I use it for my feeding time because I like to mix other stuff and put it in there. So, I'm just gonna show you guys if you can see. This is a food that I used um, as a mix with it. So it'll, it'll be a little thicker than just the phytoplankton. So if you're wondering, A, did he put something in it? Uh, yeah, I, I did, I actually did. <laughs> and I also put in, I had some coral frenzy left over in a bag, so I just dumped that in there too. So if you see anything floating in it, there's no gimmick. It is just a bunch of food that I have all crammed into this thing and stirred it up in a concoction. So. I absolutely love this. If you guys don't use these things, turkey basters, wonderful for feeding time. So. And this is what I like to do. Of course, the fish are being idiots right now, so they're uh, not going to let me feed the corals. But I like to just blow it gently around the, the corals like this. That's because I put the coral frenzy in there too. They're going crazy over that. And you should also turn off your skimmer during feeding time. Um, I like to run my skimmers during the night instead of during the day, but sometimes I'll just leave them on, I'll forget. So some people are real strict with their regimen. It does make a difference, you know, especially with small tanks because you don't want to put food in and pull it right back out. It's kind of wasteful in that manner, 
but on a system like this, it's so big, it's not as a big of an issue because the water's circulating so many places before it even gets skimmed. It's possible it could rotate through the tank five times before it ever gets through the skimmer. So I don't really worry as much as some people do, but it is good practice. Man, I can't believe how hungry that mushroom was. Check that out. 